Welcome to episode 10 of the Roulette Calculator Step System. I've been tracking this dealer here, and uh, we've got a depth of 10010010000, and currently on a depth of 1. Now, I have only just turned this on, and the time is 2.58. It has gone to a depth of 2 as well, which sucks, but uh, there might be a dealer change anytime soon. But this dealer uh, looks really good. This table is called Roulette Green, and the dealer's name is Ruben. So I'm going to jump straight onto that table. If I can find it, let's go to the roulette tab and roulette green. Let's have a look. There we go. Roulette green. Currently on a depth of two, so I want to keep an eye on it, but depth of one zero zero one zero one zero 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 and number six. So yeah, that has stopped on a depth of two. So this is looking really, really good. Uh, this was my last session earlier today. Uh, you probably saw it yesterday, so I'm just deleting that out and uh, let's have some audio and i'm going to set the neighbors to nine and we are going on the highlighted section straight away so i'm going to go on that one that's uh, number six we're covering obviously number six itself nine numbers to the left nine numbers to the right which is the highlighted section of the wheel you can see the depth count here 11 times on the highlighted five times on the unhighlighted and hopefully we can get a few bets in before there is a dealer change Let's see where that goes to. Number five. So we got the win there. It's right on the edge. But I'm going to put a W in there. And we're going to step across. Okay, so I'm going to go straight back in with a bet. And that will be on number five. Okay, so I'll put the bet on number five. Like this. Single unit bet. We only increase the bet if we get a loss. And the step system is fairly straightforward. Just add one unit each time. And every time you get a win, you reduce one unit each time. So we want to see this land in the tier section. Okay, that was a bit energetic. Went to 21, so that has given us the loss. So we're going to step down, and now we're doing two units per number. Okay. So that went to, what was that, number 21. So I'll put one, two units on number 21. And basically the idea is for hope that his trend continues where he hits the highlighted section a lot more than the unhighlighted section. Currently he's on a depth of one. He's had a couple of those and he has had one instance where it's gone to a depth of two. Now remember the first entry you always minus one off. So you want to see this land around zero or before. Absolutely perfect. 17, so that's given us the win. So we're going to go back. We're going to put a nice big fat W there. That's put a $16 in profit. So now what we do is return down to one unit per number. And that's going to be on 17. So we're just going to put one unit there. So you can see here it went to a depth of one. But he's had lots and lots of highlighted sections. 13 to 6. So over double. So double the time he's landing on the side he's spinning the ball from. And we are just trying to take advantage of that while we can. Okay, that went to 16. So it carried on just a little bit past. So that has given us another L. So we're going to go back to two units per number. Even though we've got the equal wins and losses, we're still 650 up. So we're going to do two units per number on 16. One, two. Now, as I've explained in my previous videos, uh, I will only uh, I, I will stop betting if I get three consecutive losses, and uh, that's important because you need to evaluate the dealer in case they're changing the pattern or changing the way that they're spinning the ball. If you are new to this, make sure you click the playlist and uh, have a look at the videos from the beginning. It's a full series of videos. That's looking good. 31. That is right in that mix. So that's given us another win. So we're going to put that there. And now we're at 2350 in profit. And we're going back on the first bet again. So we're going to go on 31, single unit bet. And my goal, as always with this system, I'm just trying to get $50 profit. And I've done that for the last nine sessions. Okay, this is my 10th session, episode 10. And uh, I haven't really struggled with this one. It is looking like the wheel's spinning a bit faster, but let's see if that makes a difference. Yeah, it looks like it's gone to the opposite side, to number six. Okay, so that's my observation. Just uh, it looks like you're spinning the wheel faster. Uh, I might be wrong, 
But again, three wins, three losses. I'm still $14 in profit. Gonna do two units now on number six. I'm gonna go one, two. That looks a little bit better, I'm not sure. I'm just looking at the speed of the wheel. <laughs> but again, he's had 14 highlight sections, eight unhighlighted sections. And don't forget, it can change, so don't think that the dealer is fixed on doing that every single time. But that's good, that's 13, that's right next to where we want it. So I'm seeing a pattern here that he seems to be going to a depth of one. So if I look down here, you see a depth of one, one, one. Okay, so I'm not gonna bet on this one. I'm gonna wait until it goes to a depth of one. Um, it will be my luck that it will go straight back to the highlighted section. But I've just uh, seen the observation here. I seem to be just betting against myself on the first bet each time. You can see loss, 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 but I'm getting the win on the second spin each time. So uh, if he continues that pattern, it will land in the unhighlighted section, which it has done. So you can see there, number seven, unhighlighted sections, putting that to a depth of one. But now I'm just going to bet on number seven, and I've skipped out on that depth of one. Okay, so let's just do a single unit on number seven. So I hope that makes sense to you. Um, depth of one, so he's basically landing on the unhighlighted, then the highlighted, unhighlighted, highlighted, unhighlighted, highlighted, and now he's gone unhighlighted. So hopefully if he continues with the trend, he will be back on that highlighted section and I will uh, have missed on, out on that Proly. Exactly right. See, number 14, I got the win without the loss. So I am at 39.50 and now he's currently on a depth of zero again because that's come in. So you can see here, the trend is sticking. Depth of one, depth of one, depth of one, depth of one. And uh, I could be betting the opposite. So I could be betting on the unhighlighted section for this, um, but I'm just gonna stick with what I'm doing. Um, and the only reason I'm sticking with what I'm doing is his highlighted section has far outweighed his unhighlighted section. So me betting on the unhighlighted section doesn't make too much sense because there is a chance that he will go into the highlighted section, which he didn't. He went to number three, so that has now put that onto a depth of one again. And I am going to do the bet one more time on that highlighted section. He's going to a depth of one again. And that is on number three. So let's put a single unit there. And see if he continues with this. Depth of one, depth of one, depth of one, depth of one. Currently on a depth of one. We want to see that land the green side of the wheel. Okay, it did go to the, it just carried on round. It went to 36. So I have got a loss there. Uh, so I'm going to step down and do two units per number. So I will put that on at number 36. We're going to go one, two. So now you can see he's gone to a depth of two. Now on this, he's done that once before he went to a depth of two. Remember the first one you minus one off. He's gone to a depth of two once before and now he's there again. So the question is, will it go to the highlighted section like it did on the uh, fifth section down there? Okay, it doesn't look like it has. It's gone to a depth of three. So this is the first time it's gone to a depth of three, but I will do the bet. It's the third bet down. And this is the first time that he's done that, okay? And as I mentioned, if it is a miss on this bet, I will stop betting and analyze the dealer. So it's all about analyzing the dealer, analyzing the patterns, and noticing if they make a change instead of just carrying on with the bets. Absolutely flawless. Number 19 has given us the win. Okay, so we are now at 36.50 profit and um, he's gone to a depth for free. So what I'm gonna do is watch him on this one. I am tempted to bet on the unhighlighted section for this one just because he's had uh, five instances where he's gone straight back to the unhighlighted. But I am curious.
curious to see what he does now because that's the first time he's gone to a depth for three. Very nice signature though. Series ones and the occasional two there. Uh, so that's gone to 16. So he has done it again. He's gone back to the unhighlighted section. Now I'm going to risk it and bet on the highlighted to see if he's reverted back to that depths of one and then cleared it out. So I'm going to go on number 16. Uh, wherever that is, one, two, all right, because I'm on the step two, okay? So I'll see that land on 29 or after. Absolutely beautiful, 16 back to 16. That was a very nice win. So we're now at 5350. We have done it again. That is session 10 of the roulette calculator step system with the target of hitting $50 profit. This is my second session of the day. Uh, the previous session, I guess you watched yesterday. And um, yeah, that's, uh, that's it. My balance is now 835. I've taken this up from $80 using this system and I haven't really gone below a depth for three I think maybe four perhaps a maximum so I'm going to do a conclusion video next on this and tell you my thoughts and my findings with this system but it's a very very good system and uh, I've thoroughly enjoyed playing this one love to know what you guys are doing with this system how well it's uh, working for you drop your comments below absolutely love to hear from you if you enjoyed the content please give it a like and also, as I always say to you, please bet smart. Subscribe now.